Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today we are looking at ALF Series 2. These are also from 1987, much like the first set. Each one contains five cards and a sticker, and one of these cards is going to be your Boolea baseball card, or however that word's pronounced. It's fake anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, these were put out by Topps, like I said, and uh, they have the same general look as the other cards. Uh, obviously these are red packs and the first series was yellow. That's usually how you can tell the series apart. This one also says second series on it, so that's a big indicator right there. They were about 25 cents a pack as you can see from these. Um, and these were put out by Tops. so if you lived in Canada, there's a good chance OP Cheap probably put these out since they had a licensing agreement with them. So let's open these up. There's no advertising on the back, so if you're collecting the wrappers, which are probably the more um, collectible features of a lot of these cards, then uh, be sure and be aware of that. So they probably only had one type of wrapper for you to have to buy. And this opens up pretty easily. Let's get our cards out. And the gum, as usual, is stuck to the back of a card, which is pretty common. So here's the unfurled card. Please do not chew the gum. It is not not safe anymore. It's probably pretty disgusting actually and potentially poisonous. All right, the numbering should pick up where it left off with the first set. So here we have Boolea baseball card number 26, Artie the Sponge Fern. On the back he has a stats like any other baseball card would. And on the front here we've got a drawing of him and then we've got a new sticker here. We've got sticker number 24. Uh, these uh, are copyright 1988, but the card packs are copyright 1987. So I'll correct that in the description. These are probably from 1988. So on the back, as usual, is a puzzle border. Um, you can see this one's red border. So, yeah. All right, our first card is card number 68. And this card is, uh, did you get shorter or is your son growing very, very fast? As you can see, this one is slightly off center maybe. So you gotta watch for that if you're a real nitpicker. If you wanna get these graded, you should check for the centering. All right, we've got card number 62. Wait, dinner isn't over. I think I smell cat. Then we have uh, card number 63. If you're going to play hide and seek, you have to cover your eyes. Uh, now, a lot of these on the back, instead of having episode synopsis, like this one has the Shumway family tree. I think that's probably true with most of these, yeah. So they have little background bits about the character and the universe itself, which is kind of cool. Uh, Alf's father, Bob, was the first Melmachian to gargle with lard in public. After the initial huff, Melmachians adopted the technique, and gargle with lard day became an annual holiday. Melmac fact, the biggest cause of arrest on Melmac is tickling a barber. So that really kind of added to the universe of it, kind of before, like, uh, novelizations really got caught on. They were kind of big, but this was a way for kids to kind of get involved with that and still have a collectible. So the next card is card number 54. As the karate experts say, ouch. Alright, let's look at our second pack here and see what we get inside of there. Boolea baseball card number 31B, Rosenbloom Phantoms, Heather Leather Labat, right Squinnipper. Now what you'll notice, should be able to see it on the camera, there's enough light here. Uh, there's a slight discoloration on the bottom of this card where the gum was stuck to the back of the card. And it had kind of soaked through and given it like a wet look. That'll definitely hurt the potential value of the card. 
I don't know how much these are really worth anymore, but if you're looking to complete the set and you want them all in perfect condition, you got to check those corners and check for discolorations. So our sticker, there's the puzzle piece on the back that's part of Elf's foot. Uh, this is sticker number 23. It's got Elf. Sticker numbering probably started at 21 with this set. So be aware of that. All right, we have card number 68. Uh, which is a duplicate of the one we saw earlier. Uh, card number 62, which is also a duplicate. And card number 63, which is also a duplicate. And card number 54, which is also a duplicate. So we got two packs that are almost completely identical. Now that's kind of crappy. So because we only got one variation in the sticker and the boolea ball, let's go ahead and open a third pack. And see what these look like. Because uh, I think that's a little garbagey that we only got um, two, vari two variant cards on that. Let's see how this pack does. Remember, don't chew that gum. It's gross. All right, we've got card number 25B, which is Cleveland Groomers, Abner the Big Hucker, NARP. And there's, of course, the stats. And here we have uh, sticker number 29. The back is the image of what all the puzzle border pieces will look like put together. So th this was a big deal that you had that, so... Make sure and be aware that there is a sticker like that. It's usually somewhere in the middle, I think. All right, first card we've got here is number 72. Trust me, I'll be more than happy to babysit for your cat. Then we have card number 55. I knew I had fans, but not these kind of fans. Uh, card number 70. We have Say, Don't I Know You From Another Planet. And lastly, we have card 76, which is, if you can't eat it, forget it. So obviously most of the imagery revolves around Alf. And uh, you get a little drawing of him down in the corner. And a little silly little blurb. But the back is really the more interesting one with Series 2 because it has the Shumway family tree. And it has a lot of universe building flavor text. So that's kind of cool. It would have been nice if they had released like a book that contained all this information and kind of uh, gave it more of a universe building. But as it is, if you want to really expand on the Alphaverse, I just coined that, you're welcome world, then you'd probably need to collect these and get all the factoids and the Bully of Baseball cards to kind of universe build a little further. Which I'm really surprised they didn't do, but the show only lasted a few seasons. And I uh, really didn't get a chance to expand on anything. And it left on a cliffhanger on top of that. So that was a little crappy of the network to do. But um, they never really were able to resuscitate the series. Which I'm a little sh surprised by. And I don't think it would float today. Although it, there was like a TV movie they did at one point. That had really nothing to do with anything. And it was barely even ALF related. And it really wasn't very good. But if you're a fan of the show Elf, these would be good collectibles for you. Um, they are getting it to be fairly expensive to find uh, in the packs. Uh, but this is an example of the type of cards you might pull. We did get two duplicate packs out of the three. So not a lot of variation in the cards there. But that'll do it for this episode. As always, thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. And we hope to see you on the next episode of What's Inside.